Hello guys, this is the fascinating story of Valerie Thomas, who invented the optical illusion transmitter, also known as 3D imaging. If it wasn't for her, we would not be able to see the amazing images that we see today in movie theaters, on television screens, and in video games. This is the story of Valerie Thomas, so let's sit back, relax, and get into it. On February 8, 1943, Valerie Thomas was born in Baltimore, Maryland. When she was a young girl, she was already fascinated by technology. Around the age of eight, she decided to borrow a book called The Boy's First Book on Electronics, which she borrowed from the library. She took the book home in hopes that her father would assist her in completing some of the tasks inside of it. After all, he enjoyed trying to repair televisions and radios also. However, he did not help her. Valerie went to an all-girls high school, which also did not help her with working with technology. Science was not regarded at the time as essential or appropriate for women, and the school had only recently become integrated. Valerie continued to regard her technological capabilities as more of a quest than anything else, and no one pushed her to enroll in the advanced math courses that were available at her school. At the height of racial integration in 1961, she received her high school diploma. Fortunately, this shifted when Thomas entered Morgan State University as one of just two female physics majors in her class. She was a stellar student who quickly became knowledgeable in science and mathematics. Valerie earned a physics degree in 1964 with top honors which helped her land a job at NASA as a mathematics and data analyst. For satellite operations control centers, she created real-time computer data networks from 1964 to 1970. She also supervised the Landsat program, which is a program designed to record space-based information of Earth's land in existence. She helped in the development of the program from 1970 to 1981 and became leading authority on Landsat data products. Her involvement in this initiative advanced the research of other NASA scientists who were pursuing the goal of being able to see Earth from space. Okay guys, how about the YouTube algorithm? If you liked our content and you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Let's get back to it. For the large area crop inventory experiment called LACI, a combined venture between the NASA Johnson Space Center, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Valerie oversaw a staff of about 50 individuals in 1974. Lacey helped discover that it was possible to automate the process of global wheat output prediction worldwide. The creation of NASA's image processing tools for Landsat the first satellite to transmit multi-spectral pictures to study the Earth's resources from space was eventually managed by Valerie after she advanced within NASA. She came across something at a science show in 1976 that would inspire her to pursue an invention. She noticed an illusion of a glowing light bulb that had been unscrewed and taken out of a lamp. It had been made by using a concave mirror to create the appearance of a lit light while using a second bulb pointed downward in a socket below the upper socket. Concave mirrors generate images that appear to be real in front of a mirror, in contrast to flat mirrors which make images that appear to be inside or behind the mirror. Valerie was curious about how such a picture could be conveyed given how other images were conveyed at the time. In order to examine the connection between an object's actual picture and the positions from concave mirrors, she set up equipment and started an experiment in 1976. She believed that if these kinds of realistic, three-dimensional pictures could be displayed and transmitted, then commercial television, video data, and NASA's image distribution system could all benefit greatly in the future. She would create the Illusion Transmitter, a visual instrument utilizing this technology known as an optical illusion of a 3D image. 
Her invention was then applied by NASA in some of its satellite projects. On December 28, 1978, Valerie Thomas submitted a patent application for her invention. She was granted a patent for her illusion transmitter on October 21, 1980. It creates visual illusions by using a concave mirror, both during transmission as well as reception. Currently used by NASA, the technology will also be incorporated into television monitors, video displays, as well as surgical instruments that allow doctors to see inside the human body. Valerie remained on staff at NASA through the 1980s. She graduated from George Washington University with a master's degree in engineering management in 1985. She managed the National Space Science Data Center's computer facilities in the same year. She was appointed project manager of the agency's Space Physics Analytic Network in 1986. The network was established to facilitate data sharing and scientific cooperation on space-related issues. Before leaving NASA in 1995, Valerie Thomas served as Deputy Director of the Space Science Data Operations Center. Valerie graduated from the University of Delaware with a doctorate in Instructional Administration in 2004. Throughout her life, she promoted science education for young people particularly for black Americans and young girls. She participated actively in groups which focused on STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. She also focused on women in science and engineering and Shades of Blue, which concentrates on the aerospace and aviation industries. Valerie Thomas made significant contributions to the study of space throughout her lifetime. She contributed to the creation of computer software designs that benefited the study of the ozone layer, satellite technology, and Halley's Comet. Valerie earned several NASA honors for her accomplishments, including the NASA Equal Opportunity Honor and the Goddard Space Flight Center Certificate of Merit. Valerie was motivated to interact with students by her success as a scientist. Despite the early lack of encouragement for her passions, she taught young people through the National Technical Union in Science, Mathematics, Aerospace, Research, and Technology Corporation in addition to her job at NASA. Valerie currently lives in Prince George's County, Maryland, where she continues substitute teaching and is active in STEM organizations. That's all for Aggressive Intelligence. I hope you enjoyed the story on Valerie Thomas. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one.